to Women in Trades with Amy the Sparky. Um, so today I'm going to be talking to Caitlin, um, an apprentice from Scotland. Hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, I'm good, thanks. How are you? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. Good. Um, so I wanted you to come on and talk to me today because um, there was a few things that happened last week. So there was uh, International Women's Day, Women in Construction Week. Um, there was a whole lot of drama on Instagram and Facebook that really irritated me. And you were involved in one of them, unfortunately. So, yeah, first of all, I just wanted to uh, have a little chat with you about it. Um, so I don't know if how many people saw it. By the time I saw um, comments and things on there, the original photo had been taken off. So, yeah, tell, tell us tell us what happened. <laughs> it's a bit of a long story, to be fair. Um, so, basically, there's a page on Facebook where people post, basically, people's mess-ups or just funny pictures of dodgy electrics. And nine times out of ten, some of it is a laugh, and then the other times it's people just slaughtering people for bad stuff that they've done or bad stuff that other people have done. So basically a picture of me had been posted on the page and it was a picture of me doing a fuse board and then everybody had jumped, like all these guys had commented on the post calling me a chance and I shouldn't have been doing what I do. I can't hold pliers properly, holding them like chopsticks and different stuff. But I wasn't actually on the page to start with. It was my Jasmine that I worked with was on the page and he'd seen it and he'd reacted back to it saying that oh, she's a hard worker and she can do a lot better than half people on this page already and she's only in her second year of apprenticeship. So he sent it to me and then everybody on my work joined the page and basically like supported me. Like that. Don't get me wrong, the amount of people that had supported me that I didn't even know was unbelievable. Oh, because like, I've seen her social media, I've seen her work, she's doing really well for herself, like we need more people like her. Yeah. Um, and a lot of people say that they wish their daughter was like me and would take the risk and jump on like I was an inspiration to like many people which was it was good That's but then good. the more it went on I was like no I need to join the page because like my name was just it just blew up the internet that night <laughs> so I finally went on and just basically just said, said like my piece I was like look it says don't know why this picture's on this um I don't see what I've done wrong but if you can see what I'm doing wrong then feel free to message me and give me advice because obviously I'm learning and that's what I need. I need like the advice and support for people, not people trying to like tell me that I can't do my job. Yeah. Um, and then basically said I was like, yeah, my girl, I can take as much abuse, banter, whatever you want to call it. I've got thick skin. But then I thought, no. The more it was going on, I was like, this isn't on. I said I can't have my name going through everybody's mouth and basically just people saying that I shouldn't be doing what I'm doing. When it took me a lot, took me a lot of like time to actually come do my apprenticeship because I was worried about that. Yeah. And then I thought why wait just just go do what you want to do like who cares what obviously everybody else thinks it's what you want to do yeah 100% the first post got took down and then somebody else had post, got up a post which I think you've seen yeah and basically made, oh, people can't take a joke these days um too many people just jump on the back bandwagon and whatever else I was like it's 2021 I see there's more girls coming out of the trade now than what there would have been like two or three years ago yeah, I see, and we're all just trying to make a difference and actually prove to like guys that we can just do as best as you. Mm -hmm. It was just, it was to be fair, it was all a lot of nonsense. But I thought I wrote on the post. I was like, look, I says I don't really care what you have to say. You, you can slag me all you want. I says, but it's, I'm going to go to work tomorrow with a smile on my face because I do love my job. Yeah, and really. I'm not going. To let, I was like, I'm not going to let some old men try and make me quit. I says that's not happening. Mm -hmm. I says I'll continue to prove people wrong. I says. Honestly, it doesn't bother me with people doing what they're doing. Yeah, good for you. I think you, um, you've you handled it so well because I read some of the comments. There was a couple of posts that got put on after and I read some of the comments and I was fuming at the time. Yeah. Oh, and I didn't some see the original post. Sorry? Some of them were out of order. To they, were so, they were so out of order. They were, you yeah. know, they were, I sit and I read this stuff and... I think, oh, you shouldn't look at it because it just makes me angry. It's so pathetic. Some of the stuff on there was so pathetic. Like some guy saying, oh, about the chopsticks. And she yeah. was like, chopsticks. About. It was just ridiculous. Absolutely because ridiculous. On the picture, 
it does look like I'm holding them funny, but I was holding them to a cable, pulling them out the road so I can get another cable. And obviously with the pictures took, it just looked pure dodgy. But they were just trying to be funny, I think, to be fair, and then it just took too far. Yeah. So some of the stuff's just out of order and there's no need for it. I mean, a lot of the stuff on that page is not sort of about electrics anyway. It's just a lot of it is just a load of crap, isn't it? But um, yeah, I think you handled it so well. <laughs> Thanks. I was, I was, <laughs> I was fuming. I was trying to keep calm, like, because I thought, I, I can't go in here shouting my mouth off to him and the rest of the guys. I thought, no, I said, I'm not loaning myself to, to like, their level this is no chance yeah. this is because then that gives them my money an excuse yeah so i was like no i'm not loading myself to being pathetic i said i'll just be the one that steps above everybody rises above it yeah good for you yeah. is that the first time you've come across anything like that since you started um yeah i would say that's probably the worst one um but i found it hard to actually get an apprenticeship did you uh, yeah because there's not up in scotland i wouldn't say there's many girls at all Mm-hmm. All the ones that I've found are all down in England. There's only, I would not say, there's three in my college spread out over the like the, like the four years. I'm only girl in my, like, the full year of mine. Wow. And the new apprentices that have just started, there's no girls at all. Really? Did you start yeah. straight from school? Or? Um, no, I left school and so I'd initially got into uh, uni to do nursing, mm-hmm. pediatric nursing, and then I went to college to do social sciences and then it was from college I managed to grab an apprenticeship doing this. Oh that's good. So what are you are you second year or third year now? Yeah I'm, se- I'm second year. Second year okay mm-hmm. and you're enjoying it? Yeah no I, I love it all, all the guys in my college are great. <laughs> it did take them a while right enough to talk to me when I first started. Yeah. I, I think it took them so for like your first year at college up in Scotland you go for a month at a time, like every six to eight weeks, you go for a month. All oh, right, okay. So I think it took them to like the second block to actually see how. <laughs> it was like that for me at college. To be fair, like I was older as well. Can you imagine? I turned up and I was a girl, and I was old, like quite a bit older than most of the lads. On the first day at college, I was kind of like the last one to the class, so all the boys were at the end sitting down. That and after okay. the class. And the guy that was running it was like, I chatted with the owner and he's like, oh, I think you're meant to be next door. And I was like, no, I think I'm in here. And he says, no, dance, dance school's like next door. <laughs> and I was like, no, I'm, I'm here for the my electrical side. And he's like, oh, no, it's just because like, you're dressed as a dancer. And then he's like, what's your name? And then like, he checked the list and he says, oh, I'm sorry, like, you are meant to be in here, just go take a seat. So by that time, all the boys looked at me and I was like, this is so embarrassing. I says... I wasn't like nervous enough. Now that now this has happened to me as oh, well. That's awful. How um how were you dressed? If you were dressed like a dancer, were you wearing a ballerina leg- outfit? No, I was literally just dressed in legs and a jumper. <laughs> well, I wasn't even dressed like a dancer at all. I think it was just because I had my hair down and had leggings on. I don't know. <laughs> no idea. <laughs> I had makeup and I'm meant to be next door at the dance class. <laughs> I wear makeup to work every day. I, but I've always worn makeup every day, like whatever I've yeah, done. I never, I never have makeup. Well, I tell a lie, like I do, I do wear, wear makeup sometimes at work, but I don't wear it every day because I'm like, I can't be bored getting up in the morning and doing my makeup. Yeah, I, I, I do though, whatever I'm doing, if I'm going to Tesco to do my shopping or going to see my mate or whatever, I always have the same routine. I get up, get ready, put my makeup on. So I do it for work. Like it'd feel weird to me if I went out the no. door without my makeup on. See, I felt like if I had makeup on every day and then I was going to like a party or I was going out, <laughs> I would look no different. Right? So I thought, mm, this is so, I would rather just go and do my makeup if I'm going out so then people are like who is she <laughs> like, people are like wow what a transformation Maybe that happened that. somebody actually caught me a catfish one time because <laughs> they, because they did a post of me in my work gear and then they'd seen me post one on my actual instagram and <laughs> address and makeup on like that that isn't even you <laughs> that, happened to me. that happened to me i was on a um on a site doing some new builds, I used to go in every day like a pure tramp. 
like yeah. none of my work clothes have ever fitted very well like the trousers are always too baggy I've got my jumper I can never get trousers to fit me huh I can't get trousers to fit me at all I can't get trousers to fit me no, I really need no, no brand no work trousers fit me right so I've just got I mean, like I a work brand that can get us up in our trousers to fit us <laughs> uh, I'm gonna start my own oh we should it's you ridiculous, should. isn't it? Work trousers are the worst because it's so uncomfortable. Like, I must pull my trousers up. I wear a belt as well about it's 100 times that. a day. They just never yeah. they just never fit you anywhere, right? See, I feel like, so they can fit me at the waist, but I can never get them to fit my thighs. Are mine, are, mine, if I get them to fit my thighs, they're all baggy around the waist. Like, you know when you've got yeah. that in your back where you can put your whole... Like right, yeah. Oh, my and God. You tie your belt round twice so they fit. Yeah. <laughs> But mine have yeah. got those Velcro bits on the side, but if you pull them, then you've got two massive lumps sticking out the side. Yeah, I know. If you pull them over. It's so, it's so annoying because, like, the girls' trousers, they don't have pockets, so you need to go to the guy section. No, mine do. I've got women's ones with the snack flap pockets. See, I can never find them, so I've always went to the guy section and try to get trousers in the guy section to fit me. It's ridiculous. It's <laughs> awful. And I'm really short. I'm 5'2", but I've got really short yeah. legs. So when I, whatever trousers I buy then, I have to cut about four oh. inches off the bottom and turn them up. <laughs> Honestly, they're like clown trousers. But I go into <laughs> work like that and like massive hoodies and then all my layers, because I'm always cold. Um, yeah. And a woolly hat and my hair all scraped back and stuff. And then I went to uh, Christmas do and we all met at a pub and I walked in and no one recognized me. Everyone just looked past me. And I was like, it's me. Everyone was That's like, what I get sometimes. Everybody's like, I, I don't even recognise you. Because like, if I'm going out, like, properly, like, I pay somebody to, like, do my makeup and then I get my hair done. Do you? Yeah. Wow. So, like, when it's like that, so when I get somebody to, like, do my makeup, it's like, I've never met her before. <laughs> <laughs> Catfish. <laughs> so I've been <laughs> Um. Yeah, I'd feel weird if I went out. Out without, I don't put like my full face on like I would for a night out. Yeah. But I have to put like tinted moisturizer and uh, mascara on. Just a bit of something. Yeah. I used to have like before I was a spy. I used to have like eyelashes and stuff. But um, I can't be bothered with all that now. I can't be bothered with it. And also, imagine the crap that would get stuck on them. You know, like. Oh gosh, if you cut out spotlights. <laughs> <laughs> It'd be awful, wouldn't it? So. Yeah. And then if you have to wear safety goggles, they just irritate your eyes because it would be <laughs> you won't be able to blink. They'd be constantly exactly. on the front. Of <laughs> exactly. Um, <laughs> what about um, at work then? So you get on okay at college with all the lads and stuff. What about at work, like on the job? Are you okay with all your all your team yeah. and stuff? Honestly, they oh. have been the best team ever. That's so good. The support, the support I get from them is amazing. Like, honestly, like, I couldn't have asked for a better company. Really? That's brilliant. Yeah, is, is, it, is, it, what's, is, is it Quinergy? Yeah, Quinergy. Yeah, Quinergy. That's it. I'll follow, <laughs> I'll follow your uh, Instagram as well. Yeah, Cake, um, my boss, he's, he's amazing. Is it a big company? It's starting to get quite big now. Like, we've took on a lot more people. Um, I think since I've started, we've took on maybe about another four or five people. Oh, wow. Okay, that's good. And I, I only started last August with them. Mm. I was with um, another company before Quinergy. Oh, you started your apprenticeship somewhere else? Yeah, and then um, moved to Quinergy. Okay. Oh. And it was the best move I've ever made. Yeah. Oh, brilliant. I'm so happier. Yeah. And what, what sort of work do you do with Quinergy? Is it all domestic or is it a variety of stuff? Well, it's like we do a lot of um, rental properties. So we do like the inspection and testing. So see like your EICRs, pack testing, Legionella's, smoke and heat. Your FFE, we do a lot, a lot of that, and then obviously any remedial work we do, we go back right. and do that. We also do gas safeties, and so they do like plumbing, gas as well, side of it as well. Oh, okay. Like we're kind of like a company that kind of does everything, like in the one visit. Yeah, oh, that's good. And we do, we have done like a few rewires as well. Um, that I've been involved in, which has been quite good. So then that broads, broaders my knowledge as well on that side of it. Yeah, brilliant. What's your favourite sort of work? What what do you enjoy doing the most? Um, it's hard to say because like, I kind of like doing everything. I like just getting about, like getting in about everything. I don't. I wouldn't really say that I've got a, a favourite. Yeah, variety is nice, isn't it? 
Yeah, like I do like doing like all the different stuff because whereas before I was doing, I was working with a company that was um, garden lighting. Right. So all I was doing was just armor and it kind of like, so like it got to a point where I wasn't really learning it now. So I was like, no, I need to make the move now where I can do yeah. different things to then be able to yeah. a good by the time I qualify. Yeah, that's a good move because it's difficult when if you're doing the same thing over and over i've been in that position a couple of times and i've moved on you're not better in yourself i learned not learn anything new and it gets the job gets boring then yeah it kind of got to the point where i just wasn't enjoying it because i was like i'm just going to work and doing the same thing over and over again and then yeah i was like i'm going to college and all the boys are like can look at wiring diagrams and be able to read them and i'm sitting there like i have no idea what you're talking about uh, because i because i never done it my old company yeah do you feel like you caught up now yeah don't get me wrong there are still some things where i need to improve on like i get confused a bit with the like lighting circuits yeah i just sometimes it just goes right over my head and i'm, and I'm looking at it I'm like, i was like that for ages i think yeah. lighting is one of those things where you look at it for ages well to me i looked at it for ages and it never made sense to me I couldn't get it in my head at all. And then one day, the penny literally dropped and I was like, oh my God. <laughs> Why did no one tell me it was that easy? I know what I'm doing. I know, but since what we could do, like a lot, I get a lot more like, help and support. So if I got to a point where I, I didn't know what I'm doing, they are more than happy to literally get, give me the time of the day, basically, and actually sit and work with me, which is, it's, it's amazing to actually That's have that. so good. So you can ask them anything, like they're happy to just... Yeah. yeah that's brilliant they would drop anything to help me which is there's more than what i could ask for yeah oh. do you always work with the same people or do you go with different people all the time i mostly work with uh, my tradesman ross but there is some times where i do go with like the other guys if they're maybe get like a lot on when they need that extra pair of hands yeah so i do i do get about with different electricians but i'm mostly with ross uh, okay so apprenticeship in scotland's four years isn't it same as it's same as here yeah yeah so in the future what do you see for yourself i know you're only a couple of years in but people used to ask me all this all this all the time like is your do you dream of having like your own business like going on your own and, yeah no yeah. i do and I, and I do want to go um and do like the gas side of it as well and learn oh, really that's like good. the gas plumbing as well, so it's like I'm like multi skilled basically, like eventually. Yeah. I like to kind of get my hands in about everything, to be honest. <laughs> yeah. And then eventually, but I'll be with Queen Energy a long time, so it's like in many many years to come, I'd hope. Yeah, that's I've good. That's a that's a good dream to have. Is there many other female um, traders near you? Like, gee, is there anyone that you chat to or you become friends with lately? Um, no. No. On Instagram, do you chat with it with many? I talk to Charlotte quite a bit. Yeah, she's lovely. Yeah, she is lovely. Um, but that's really about it. I don't really talk to many girls, if I'm honest. I can probably count on three fingers the amount of people, girls, sparkies that I know up here as well. But what, sorry? Like, I can count in one hand the amount of girls, sparkies that are up near me. Really? Yeah, there's like... I, I don't know any. There's maybe about two or three that I know. Yeah. There's not. There's quite. There's a few around here actually. I'm in the Midlands. There's a few around here, and um, but a lot of them are London way. But to yeah. be honest, since I got Instagram, um, there's a lot more than I than I realised. Um, yeah. But I was reading some statistics the other day, and I think it said that was it five percent of the construction industry is women, but only one percent of those actually work as a trading like on on site they want yeah, that's mental and yeah it is mental. yeah do you know how you select or sect i think it is no i think that that might be up in scotland that's like our training yeah. body sort of thing all oh, right okay apprenticeships they were out um talking to me a couple of weeks ago about my apprenticeship so it was like the apprentice week all oh, right okay yeah so, I was on that, talk, basically talking about the girls and whatever else. And they're like, I, it is on the uprise, I think, but it's very, very slow. Yeah. What, so I what think, was that for? Was that to encourage more uh, females into it? Um, yeah, I think so. And it was, I think it was mostly just to talk about why I was doing it, why I'd, I'd actually chose as a girl to put my foot in the trade and why I thought 
apprenticeship was like the best way forward. Yeah. So what? There's a link on it that you can watch on my Instagram. I can send you it and you can watch it. Ah, yeah, send it, yeah. Yeah, you can do that. Yeah. So why, um, when you decided that you wanted to um, be an electrician then, did you, were you encouraged by sort of school and, or, and family and that, or were they you discouraged? I kind of had a lot of people been like, no, you can't do it. And then, so I kind of had it in my head, well, maybe I can't do it. Yeah. And then once I kind of never went to uni, I thought, do you know what, I just, am I going to do it? I'm not going to listen to people that actually said I couldn't do it. So I was more determined that way. Mm-hmm. And when people asked, why did you do it? I was like, because somebody told me one day that I couldn't do it. So I thought, no, I am going to do it. <laughs> oh, I've got to do it now. Yeah, like, you can't just not do it now because somebody's told you that you can't. I think that's the main thing. So... Yeah, I think that's the main thing about um, women in trades. I think we're all stubborn. Yeah. We've all got that same attitude. Like, if someone says you're not going to do something, you're going to do it and you're going to do it really well and rub it in their face. I think think in college, like with the boys and the lectures, they know how determined I can be sometimes and stubborn. So, like, they might have, like, they can have a laugh and be like that. No, like, like, you're not going to be able to do that to like kind of push me on because they know fine well that I can do it. I just don't have the confidence. Mm-hmm. I lack so much confidence in myself really? when it comes to you. Yeah, like, I just always feel like, oh, I can't do it or I'm I'm not going to do it properly. And it isn't until I actually do it and it's a job well done and everything like that. Like, see, like you can do it. Then I realise, oh, well, maybe I can do it. Yeah. It's just that yeah, is the hard part. Yeah. I'm, I'm the same. I'm like that. Um, I always have like I always feel um, like under pressure you know as a female you know when when there's other people about and I'm working and I think I really have always I feel always feel like I have something to prove and uh, I'm yeah. under pressure to I feel like that sometimes it's, it's not it's not very nice is it because I always think god men don't have to feel like this they just crack yeah, up like, do what they want and we should need to prove ourselves to people I know it's really I've showed, I've, pro- I've proved to myself and I can do a job as good as them or even better. Yeah. And like many occasions, like there was a thing we had to do in college. It was like a metal, co- it was, see how like the metal conjet? Yeah. We make like a CD square out of metal conjet. And we'd, so we'd done like a competition and only like the lecturer knew who had done what. So he'd went out and asked all lecturers to come in and pick one. Yeah. And mine was the winner. Was it? Well, and all the people were raging, like they were all raging at the fact that I won, but <laughs> you know, I been enough then. <laughs> yeah, it's funny, isn't it? Because um, it's really irritating when uh, people around you, especially like men, um, assume that you're going to be crap because you're yeah. a woman. I just think it's just such a load of shit, basically. It's when I, they tell you, oh, you should go back in the kitchen. Somebody had wrote that to me, like, oh, I'll get back in the kitchen. And I was like, I actually tend to stay away from the kitchen because I can't really cook. <laughs> Who, someone wrote that on what? One of your Instagram posts? Uh, no, the, the, that Facebook post. On on the Facebook thing? Somebody wrote, oh, like, they should just stay in the kitchen. And I'd reply to it, like, because I was like, oh, it's just a bit of banter. And I said, so I replied, like, I actually tend to stay away from the kitchen because I can't cook. But I'll stick to my day job because that's something that, cause that's something that I am good at. Well done, yeah. <laughs> There's laughing faces. You handled it so well. But I just think it's a good job that you're you know, that you weren't bothered by it and that you're thick skin because some of the people will be really bothered by some of that stuff that was written. Yeah, and then- like some other girls would be like, I, I'm not doing that. And somebody had like private messaged me saying that they were trying to get their daughter to go on and do a trade. And the yeah. daughter turned around and says, no, dad, dad, dad and mum, I don't want to do that because I'm scared of what the guys would say to me. That's so like, bad. That is so yeah, sad. Like, so I'd replied back, I was like, just tell your daughter to go do it. I say she, yeah. I was like, she's got every right to go start up her own business and yeah. be in it as much as any other person. I say, and if she's got any questions or advice, then she's more, I'm more than happy to answer questions that she's got. Yeah. Because oh. we've all got to stick together or we, don't, or we won't get anywhere. <laughs> it's, it, it, it really does make me mad, like it infuriates me, that, no. you know, there's so many reasons that... Um, that girls are put off from doing jobs like this. And yeah. it's just really sad, isn't it? You know, I read all this stuff online and 
you scroll Instagram and uh, Facebook, you see all this old be kind and all this stuff. And then in the next, the next one, someone, so I... ripping someone for just going about their day, just living their oh. life, going to work. It, it, ridiculous. I saw it's, some other stuff. It's so contradicting as well. Sorry? It's so contradicting as well. Yeah. Yeah. Because the same person could have shared a post about suicide and yeah. whatever else. And then they're sitting posting abuse to somebody else. And you're like, ah, what happened to the post he just posted? Like five minutes about suicide like, awareness. Yeah. <laughs> it's ridiculous, <laughs> isn't it? Mm-hmm. It's ridiculous. Um, there was, I saw some other stuff last week um, with uh, Helena at Pink Plumbing. I don't know if you follow her. I think I do actually. Yeah, she. Someone had written some some stupid comment on um on one of her posts, and then I ju- literally just before I was talking to you, I was um on Instagram, and I saw um you know plumbing by rage. Yeah. She just put a story on. Uh, she was at work today, and the guy asked her, um, "Do you want some help with that? <laughs> do you want to help with that?" <laughs> She just did a story saying, um, yeah, are you qualified? Do <laughs> you want to do it for me? And I thought, that's just it, isn't it? Like, men, for the, some, like that guy might not have had a clue, you know, yeah. about what she's doing, but he's assuming that she needs help because she's a girl. But she yeah. doesn't need help. She knows exactly what she's doing. She's extremely good at her job. She can I know. I do, I do like watching... And Instagram stories that they're, that they're really good. <laughs> I love, yeah, I love her stories. I love how she just gets on with it. I love how she's, you know, pumping weights in her spare room so she can lift them boilers on her own. She doesn't need no yeah. man to help her. So, no, I know. It is. You're it is. Just being so independent, aren't you? Rather than relying on some guy to help you. <laughs> yeah, you've got to be independent. I know. So, Instagram then, have you had that long? I only just started really using it like a couple of months ago. Yeah. But, I don't know, I just find it hard to, like, I never really know what to post or kind of what to say. And I'm, so I kind of just kind of sit in the background and put up like, the odd post now and then and just, like, everybody can comment on them. That's really fair. <laughs> yeah. Do you um, find it useful for tips and stuff and advice and learning? Yeah, no, I, I do like um, watching some people's, like, like different sparkies and that to see how maybe they do things or what maybe I could do differently if it's, like, if it's like the same job. Yeah. Some of the stories I find really useful. Um, you know, some some of them are really good when they, you know, talk you through different things and or shape or do photographs of different stages and stuff. And I have learned, you know, a fair few tips and stuff off there. So I do. Every day slash school day, you've got to learn something new every day, no matter. Yeah, so we'll, we'll be learning. We'll yeah. <laughs> um. What else is I going to share? I still keep thinking about your. Um, so this is the first time I spoke to uh, Caitlin, and she lives in a shed <laughs> and has a hot tub. <laughs> you flashes your hot tub, but people aren't going to believe me. Hot tubs there. <laughs> My bed is here. <laughs> My mum would probably kill me now because she's probably. <laughs> she's like you're showing everybody, and that's probably like a pure riot. <laughs> <laughs> um, We're raging. You're going to be on some um, hot tub. Page getting slagged off. <laughs> Who's the bed in the hot tub? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes. <laughs> I'll, look, I'll look out for you on there. Um, I think it's legs that you live in a shed with your hot tub. It's just, my mum's got five kids. The youngest being five, and we're all in a three bedroom house. So this was the best idea until we get an extension built. <laughs> oh, that's cool. It's like you're, you know, independent living on your own, but you still got your mum there, so you're watching. It's got a TV, it's got a wee mini fridge. <laughs> you live in the my, Jump in the hot tub whenever you want. I've got my drawers in here for my clothes, so <laughs> the only thing that's missing is a toilet. That, you live in the dream, aren't you? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. It's good for a piece of bike sometimes. <laughs> um, well, thank you for uh, talking to me. And oh, well done for, um, yeah, for not letting letting all that crap last week get to you. Because I don't know if it had it got to me, some of the stuff on there. It, it did kind of get to me, and then I thought there's no point letting it, because yeah. no matter how many years I, I'm, go, I'm going to be doing this for, there's always going to be people that have something to say. 
That's exactly it. We're gonna face um we're gonna face, you know, rubbish like that, unfortunately, probably all the way through our careers. So So if you can't take it now, then you'll never take it when you're ten yeah. years down the line. So I think there's a certain amount of stuff that we we can take, as in like banter. You know, like I don't expect to go onto a site and for everything to change because I've walked on, you know. Getting wrapped up, bubble wrap. Yeah, you know, I don't expect that. I expect men just to carry on, but there's there's a line, isn't there? There's a line between sort of banter and being funny and just being completely disrespectful. And yeah. I think that's, like, the, that's the, the issue. I can give it back as good as what it's it's given to me, which is good because then they kind of respect you in that way. Whereas if I was kind of just like took it the, the wrong way, they would just kind of probably not respect you in a way that they'd respect you if how well you did it. So take something, if you know what I mean. Yeah. Well, well I'd, honestly, I've got thick skin and I just give it back as good as what I, I give it. <laughs> I think you did really well. You should be proud of yourself. Thank you. Right, well, yeah, good luck with your, your apprenticeship and I'm glad that you're happy at Quinnage 8. It sounds, all sounds great. It is. It's the best move I've ever made and I'm glad I've done it. Wow, that's so good. Good to see someone so happy in their, uh, in their learning and apprenticeship. It's really good. Right, I'll speak to you soon. That's fine. Speak to you soon. Bye. Bye.